okay, I'm coming to you again. Um, I'm kind of coming to you from the side because I think it's fun to put the flan in there. Um, she looks a little crabby though. Crabby! Um, anyway, so I'm just talking some more about my friend Mike, uh, who died on Sunday of an overdose. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen people die in this program. I probably said this all the other day, but I've never had anyone this close die to me in the program. I mean, I don't know. I mean, really, to be honest with you, like, my grandma died two years ago, and she was very close to me, and um, that made an impact on me and made me sad. But here's the thing. Anyone else who I've ever lost, I lost a grandma and a grandpa, opposite parents, back in 1982, so I was eight years old. And I lost my grandpa in 1991, my mom's dad, in 91. And that was sad for a variety of reasons. But most of the time that I've been, like, from 5 to 28, when I got sober, uh, I just didn't have feel. I mean, I had feelings, but I either completely repressed them or I um, didn't have them. People would die and I would see all the good things like they were safe and at home and at peace. But there had to have been a sadness there that I just could not tap into. Because um, I disconnected myself from any sort of um, uh, intense feeling. Particularly bad feelings. <sighs> yeah. So, blessing, curse. I got my feelings back. It also means that I get to be sad about stuff. So, yeah, we're collecting pictures and memories and his wake's on Thursday and uh, I got my little baby, little baby, he's so cute, are you mad? She's mad, why you look so mad? Little flan, I look so crabby, nobody knows. I probably won't post this to YouTube. <laughs> but I might, because it's got the flan in it. So, bye-bye.